Hi everyone, it's Sarah, and today is my first mini Monday. I'm excited, and if you want to see more, stick around. It's time to release the word Kraken. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Sarah. I am a Gen X librarian and indie author who has no idea how she's spending her money. So I'm trying to figure it out and you're along for the journey. I am getting better about how I spend my money thanks to the work I've been doing on this channel. Today I'm trying something new. A few weeks ago, I shared with you, maybe just a week ago at this point, week and a half, uh, I shared with you that I was getting a little bored of my savings challenges. I make them based on my books. Here are some of them here. But I needed to shake things up. And from watching other people's videos, I knew that minis were becoming a thing. And they looked freaking awesome. So I decided to try my hand at them with some of the challenges I had already made for myself based on my books. I am also doing a $1 challenge this year where every time I unstuff and have singles, those singles come out of the envelope and they go into the $1 challenge. So my idea is I'll do this every quarter. Once a quarter, we'll come through and we'll do mini challenges with which which whatever is left in here. If I finish one, great. If I don't, we keep going till I do. And while that's happening, I will be searching for other creators who are making their own minis and buy some of those. So if you have somebody you like making minis, leave them in the comments below because I am buying some now that I'm trying this, especially if I enjoy it. So I have some dice. I think in the last video I said I was looking for purple dice. They're not hard to find. They just wouldn't get to me in time. The friend I have who sells dice didn't have any purple on hand. So I just went to the local drugstore and bought a box of the bicycle dice. I love that they had just a box of dice that I could buy. I only need one. So we'll move that out of the way. We'll pull out the singles. We'll move this out of the way because... There's no need for this now. Now, this is my first time doing this, so I hope I'm going to do it right. But I'm going to pull the six that I'm working on out. And the reason I'm doing six is because I have a six-sided dice. So that'll dictate which one I put the money in. These are uh, challenges I made based on a series of Judaica contemporary high heat romances that I wrote around the Jewish holidays. And my next romantic comedy book in this series, Romancing Mr. Tilney, and my next horror book that I don't have out. All right. Keep that to the side. Uh, Jane Austen is with us today because she is the inspiration. My rom-coms are inspired by her classics. All right. I'll just put that there. All right. So I have six. This is the order. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's how I'm going to do it. So if I roll a one, one, two, two, and I'm going to put down increments of $2. How much money do I have? Let's count it because I have a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. I have a nice even number to be able to do this. Are we ready? All right. So $2 go on number three. Again. And then four. 
Back to three, two, four, six, three's getting a ton. It's looking like it'll finish first. Six, five, three, one, one, three, one, five, four, five, two, one, one, and this will be my last roll, five. All right. Let's go through each of them and count up how much we have and color in the numbers. Uh, I'm gonna color in for every $2 I have, and then we'll put it back in the envelope. So, Mutt to Ball Billionaire, this is a Passover holiday story. Yom Tov is the series, it means good day. One, two, three, four, so we'll color in two matzo balls. Actually, these aren't matzo balls. These are matzo crackers, which is what they make matzo meal out of for matzo balls. Next, we have Forgive Me, I Love You. This is a romance around the high holidays. Apples and Honey for Rosh Hashanah uh, and Yom Kippur. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can color in four. Next we have latkes of love. This is Hanukkah. Latkes. One, two, three, four, five, six. I love to make my own latkes at Hanukkah. I am not the kind who likes them like hash browns, like shredded potato. I like mine pureed like a pancake with onions in it. They're really fun to make, but the whole house smells like frying potatoes afterwards. Actually, let's do one, since that is just the general series one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And these are secular Judaism stories. They're not religious women. They have sex. They say profanity. They are very modern. Good to know before you go into any book what to expect, especially if you have preferences for sexual heat level uh, or story plot points and things like that. All right, now we'll get into Romancing Mr. Tilly. Uh, this is the next book in this series. It is exclusively on Patreon. The link's below in the description, as well as to buy these books. They are sweeter romantic comedies, so low heat, but spicy language. All right, this one takes place on a reality TV dating show. It has one, two, three, four. And this will be on Patreon for about another year. So it's early in the chapters. So you won't have much to catch up on if you start with us now. And then last, the one that I think got the most money. This is a horror book about scams and coaches uh, and multi-level marketing and how the pipeline from multi-level marketing to guru happens. Uh, it's the third in a series. 
I just bought, I just got new covers a few months ago and I still haven't run out of the paperbacks with old covers. So I haven't bought new ones yet. So they'll be on display later. This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So that did get the highest. And the reason these look like little pills or vitamins is because the story is about, uh, starts with a supplement, MLM, uh, and goes from there. There's other things going on, not just scams and fake coaches. So, all right, that's it for this this first mini. I'm so excited and I hope you'll stick around. But before I end the video, it's time for bingo. We got to do another square. All right. I am really close to another bingo, but we're also getting into a lot of the um, squares that I can't cross off the way I am playing it. And you can still get these cards. If you go back to the beginning of February with my videos, you can see everything I've called I will be doing another round. So if you subscribe and want to do this, you can still download the links. We're going to do a dollar version next, or I'm going to do a dollar version next. But right now, I put in $5 a square if it applies to me. And the next square is already into planning when I started stuffing and budgeting. And that is accurate. We've, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I have a few about planning. All right, already into planning. Let's see if it applies to any of my cards. Oh, this is exciting. Not only was it on this card putting me really close to bingo, if I could only cross off, paid off all credit cards at any point in my life. I have in the past. I don't know if I'll count it. Should I get it? Depends on how far we are into this. But here we have bingo on one of the cards. So next time I do a savings challenge video, we will be adding $25 to that savings challenge to account for the square and the bingo and this card will be retired after that will only be working with two i'm very excited and i hope you have gotten bingo or are really close if you haven't yet if you liked this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more i post about three days a week maybe a little more sometimes if i have a lot to say but until then i'll see you in the next video